Well, good morning, guys. Thank each and every one of y'all for clicking on the channel. Today, we've got a nice, cool day. I've actually got a, a jacket on, or a kind of cool jacket on. Um, we're getting ready to go through and uh, feed the animals and take a look at the babies. We got another, we got some more babies that was born last night. So, but anyways, before we get started, I wanna to say today's video is sponsored by Team Moo. Um, Team Moo is a website that you can pretty much go to and order anything you would like. <laughs> Um, it's just kind of like Amazon, but the stuff you can get it at a lot cheaper price. And, uh, we got some really cool stuff that just come in. So we'll show you that in just a second, but for now we got to get some feed out and get all these babies and mama's fed and the dogs and do the morning chores. So follow us along. Y'all going to have to back up though. I'm going to get some feed, but y'all going to have to back up. Everybody can eat. But y'all gonna have to back up and let me get all the feed. If y'all don't get out of the way, we ain't gonna get no feed. Huh? We got a little bit of rain last night. Hey girls. Girls and boys, back up. We have to, we have to actually wire this because believe it or not, they can actually Get y'all's head out of there. All right, guys, back up now. Come over here. Where's y'all's pool at? I'm gonna go through here. Oh, it's right there full of water. So I'm gonna have to let them eat there. Don't knock my camera over. This pool's got a hole in it, so we have a few goats and llamas that actually, uh, the llamas stay out here. We have a few goats that stay out here, our pets and uh, the ones that are jumpers. All right guys, give me the bucket. Give me the bucket. Cinnamon, back up, come on. If y'all want some, y'all better come on. Come on girls, here y'all go. Now, Badger, there's no more. There's no more. Go over there and eat. There's no more. There's no more, guys. See, there's no more. All right, y'all better go do y'all's thing. Anyways, I'm gonna put a bucket back up and I'm gonna show you this cool product that we got from Team Moo, so stay tuned. Okay, guys, like I said earlier, this video was sponsored by Team Moo. And I'm fixing to show you some of the cool stuff that we actually got um, this go around, which the kids do not know about this. Um, Leighton and Casey are going to be exciting with deer hunting season coming around. It's going to be awesome. So um, while I'm showing these products, I'm going to put the price right here beside the product. And let me tell you what, the, I don't care where you look, you will not find a price as cheap as what they have their products. It's absolutely awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the first thing that I really like, and, and Leighton's gonna like it as well. In case, and they're both gonna share this. It's a bag that they can keep all, all their hunting stuff in, all their gear. It's got several pockets, um, so they can uh, put whatever they want in there if they wanna bring some gloves with them or, or deer calls or whatever. So um, like I said, I'm gonna put the price over here. This stuff is absolutely awesome. The next one is that I'm going to is going to be um, a hoodie, or not a hoodie, a, a head deal that you can actually put on while you're hunting to keep yourself warm and then kind of uh, blend in with the woods. And also, you know, with Leighton and Kaysen, we got to have some tackle boxes. Got a tackle box here for their little lures. Um, this one here is going to go to me. I thought I got it for Leighton, but after looking at it the other night, it's actually going to go for me. Um, these are the pants. It's uh, basically, I call it a ghillie suit, but we'll put these on and blend in. And then here is the top half with it. Same deal. It fits me. Um, so unfortunately, I told Leighton that I got him one of these, but it's not... It's not his size, so but put it on and yeah, it, it's gonna be awesome. We're ready for hunting season and it is already kicked off here, but 
Um, so just zip it up and we'll be good to go. I'm going to take this off because I'm already hot as it is. Um, this sweater's got things warm. So got the ghillie suit, uh, got a uh, canteen bottle that we can actually put to the side over here and carry some uh, water and stuff with us. Uh, he he got, a, uh, got a bag for the boys, that way they can put their, their ammo inside the bag here and whatever else they want to carry on their belt, they can have it here to the side. And this is a, another, uh, some other bags that we're going to attach to a belt or put in his bag, whichever he chooses. And um, they can put all kinds of stuff they want in here. If they want to bring um, uh, a phone or, um, you know, like I said, early deer calls, or if they want to bring a snack or something like that. Um, this here, we'll be using around here. If you know what this is, leave a comment in the comment box. And we're gonna be using that around here. For some reason in Oklahoma, frogs are absolutely crazy this year. And we've got some big old frogs over here. So we're gonna put a stick on it. And I'm gonna take the kids frog hunting and uh, let, let them eat frog legs for the first time. So I don't think the boys have ever done that, but I'm going to, to show them. <clears throat> and then I got a razor. Um, around here i started using electric razors probably about three or four months ago and i absolutely love them uh, i've seen these on the website and let me tell you they are they're kind of got some weight to them so you know they're not cheaply made but we'll go ahead and open up a box and show you one of them pop them out of there there it is shave whatever we need to do oh it's already charged up But not only one, I went ahead and got a, a second one as well. Um, I might have hit a double order on that, I guess. But same thing, another razor. <clears throat> so guys, let me tell you what. If you've never shopped with Team Moo, you are missing out. Um, you know, I, I know it, it is very similar to uh, Amazon, but you will not pay the high price like Amazon. And you will not get treated like you do with Amazon's customer service. Um, I have not had an issue with any of uh, the Team Moose stuff I've had. And if I had any questions, whatever, I contacted them and they helped us out. So Team Moo has got a statewide sale with savings up to 90% off. Yes, I said 90% off. That is a heck of a savings. Um, they also got free shipping and free returns within 90 days. So if you need to make a return or something, if it's in 90 days, it's free. Um, so if your delivery is late or whatever, they got a $5 credit for late delivery. So if you're, you get your delivery and it's late, they'll give you a $5 credit. And they also have a pricing protection policy. This is new. If you order something and the price drops within 30 days, you can request a partial return. That's right, you can request a partial refund. So if you order something in 30 days that price drops, you can call and request a partial refund. Now, you can't, that, that's pretty neat. That's the first time that I've actually seen it since I've ordered. Also, I encourage you to go click on the link in the description box. To use that little product code and that will give you a $100 coupon bundle. Let me rephrase this, a $100 coupon bundle. It is not a $100 coupon. It is the $100 coupon bundle. And uh, go over there, download that link, and go check out some stuff. They have everything. So I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Well, we're still doing pretty good on feed. It's right above that line. All right, Badger, back up, buddy. All right, we're gonna go in here and get all these girls fed. We're starting to give them a little bit in the morning as well because it's kind of cool. Look. All right, girls. It's a little harder doing this with the camera. All right, girls, get your head out if y'all. You're smart, ain't you?
Oscar, I know I see you, buddy. Here. There you go. What are you doing, girl? Huh? What are you doing? You doing all right this morning? You doing all right this morning, huh? He's a good girl. He is. He's a good girl. All right, I gotta get my chores going. I know, mamas, we're coming. Um, and one of the reasons why I'm feeding these guys this morning is, as you can see, they've already ate their round bell down. The goats over there, they still have their round bell, so we're going to go ahead and start trying to look for a couple more round bells. Um, that lasted about three weeks, I think, so we'll see how, if we can find some more. Hey, cowboy. All right, girls. Watch it, watch it, move, 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 Hey, hey, we're not doing that, girl. We're not, we don't do that here. Uh, they did an amazing job and I'm not dogging any of their work at all. As y'all know, this used to be the double door. Um, everybody is wondering how we're going to fix this and uh, do all that. So what they went, they went in and put basically some studs in it and then put insulation in it and put a sheet of sheetrock up on it. Um, they've already textured it, but I'm going to come back. I'm going to smooth this down and then I'm going to put some more mud on it and try to hide this here. I know you probably won't see it when it paints, but just to make Stephanie happy, um, we're going to do that. Then afterwards, we're going to go ahead and trim out the, the actual windows. But we're gonna come in and um, do that and trim everything out. This is going to be um, Layton's room here. So, so stay tuned and um, follow her and I'll kind of show you a little bit of this and we'll figure it out as we go. And like I say, they would probably, uh, like I say, there's stuff still here and they would come back and fix this, but um, they're tied up on some other jobs right now. And we got to get back in here so we can set up all of our merch and stuff because we got orders coming in every day. So we're gonna sand this down, see how this is kind of, I get maybe somebody walk by when it's wet and then down here at the floor, down here at the floor, nothing big. I'm just gonna sand that up and then we're gonna put another, whatever you want. We're gonna put another uh, coat of mud up here. So we'll see how it goes. Cross your fingers. Is we could probably, on this part, you can probably smooth out with the baseboard, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get that all smoothed out here. I forgot to put the uh, camera on, but um, so pretty much I just got some mud and threw up there. Um, as and I'm not I'm not nothing to this. This is my first time actually doing this, so just to warn y'all, I'm just going by what I've seen off videos and what I've seen them work with here. Um, I know there's a low spot right in there, so I'm going to have to get some more mud. I'm just gonna put some extra over here so I'm trying to blend it in. That's the whole idea of it. Hopefully it works. If it don't, oh well. got this wall done here it took me a little bit longer because I was just making sure um, I, I didn't have any bubbles or lines in it um, but afterwards I'm gonna go through here and sand the side of this and sand it down and it should be good I would hope but I, I, after it dries and everything we're gonna come back and we'll get the uh, plaster gun we'll plaster it we'll blend it in 
and then uh, I think we're going to sand it down just a little bit uh, to give it the kind of this look right here but sand it down just a little bit so it nothing flakes off or anything um, I can remember when when I was a kid um, our, our house it had that popcorn stuff up there at the top and once you'd hit it it would all uh, fall to the ground so um, now we're going to move into this room there's this area right here um, I don't know if you can tell right there but I'm going to sand it down right here um, this is from the other contractor as well uh, you put the sheet rock up there and uh, made it really hard um, for it to line up right like I said I'm just going to smooth this out here and then we're going to add some more because if I paint that right now I'm I'm almost certain that you're going to be able to see that obviously you are because if you can see it with the naked eye the paint ain't going to cover that up so um, the walls dried enough I've already sanded a little bit but then I was like hey I better go ahead and show them what it looks like before I go ahead and sand everything you can kind of see where I didn't get everything level here I know it's hard to see in here but you can see those little areas right there so what I'm going to do is go ahead and sand it and then try to blend it in together and then after we get it all sand I'm then going to get the texture and we'll texture it and then tomorrow we'll get up and uh, we're going to go to the store and get some paint and stuff but on these walls here I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the uh, sander and I'm going to go over them and I'm going to make the walls uh, some of this stuff that's really big I'm going to make it a little bit smaller um, that way it doesn't stick out as far no big deal they did a good job um, just now with seeing it I kind of see the the difference so I want to change it up a little bit All right, guys, I think I got that thing um, hidden in there. Um, I had to put a, quite a bit of mud in there just to kind of level it out. But what I'll do is I'll come back with sandpaper, blend that all in, and then I'll come back across and texture it. Um, after looking at some of this while I'm up here, um, I don't know if you can see it through the camera, but it's a little bit of... It's not blended in, so we may sand that down and try to blend it in before we actually um, plaster the rest of it. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to sand a little bit here, but that'll be all right. All right, so I've got the bucket here. Um, there's a drill here that we're going to use to mix it. It's my first go at this guy, so don't beat me up too bad. So, um, if 
from what I've understand, you just kind of want this kind of like a, uh, a yogurt. What I'm doing now is I'm just taking this brush here and I'm just, this sponge, I'm just kind of flattening it down some of the ones that are sticking out really far, which I don't know if I'm supposed to do that, but here's the deal. I'm going to run a, um, I'm going to run a sandpaper across it after it dries to blend it in with the rest of the wall. You know, really, this wasn't as bad as what I thought it was going to be. Um, it just seems like a lot, but, you know, once it got started, it wasn't bad. What we're going to do now is I will get everything out of here, and then we're going to start cleaning it out. Um, tomorrow, we're going to get the paint, and me and Steph, while the kids are at school, we're going to start painting. Um, I'm not for sure when we're going to show this, not unless uh, until we get finished or, or what, but I'll kind of visit with her and see what she wants to do. But um, I'm pretty, pretty proud of myself. Honestly, I didn't know it would go this well, um, or maybe I would have done it myself. The only thing, I, I just didn't understand the tape, the tape and the mud, you know, put, putting your tape up there. They said they couldn't have bubbles and stuff like that, but um, yeah. I think we got it figured out, so we will see you on the next part. Turns out what? This is going to be what we're going to be putting in the tiny home. All right, it's finished now. Let's look at the Oh yeah, looks good But last night um, I came back in and I reshot a different texture on the walls uh, just because I wanted the texture to be a little bit thicker, um, kind of like, kind of like here, how how I laid it down there and smoothed it down like that. So it was, I mean, uh, the guys that come in and did it last go around, uh, they did put some texture on there. But um, anyways, they did a good job. Hey, I'm not crapping, I'm not complaining. Um, I just had to go back and fix a little couple things the way I wanted it. We got all the gate work going on up there so there's no telling what's going to be in this one so you might as well stay tuned and uh don't want to miss out because we got a lot of things exciting things going on around the farm got mr Kaysen here with me how are you doing good uh Kaysen's got some baby chicks how many chicks you got now uh i don't know 
Don't know. Um, last night, I uh, think we had eight of them hatched from Jimison, Alabama. This morning we had, we had nine. nine. But, and, um, we have, I bought one and then uh, a lot of them um, eight. Yeah, nine. yeah. He's got his that he bought himself. His name is Brownie. So, anyways, enough of the talking. I'm going to go ahead and set the camera back and uh, see if we can get started. We're getting closer to where we're able to move on in the next steps in the tiny home, so I didn't know how much primer to get, so I just got a couple gallons to get started with. Yeah, we're definitely going to, I should have had them shake that up. I got to get a stick or something to, let's go ahead and try this. I don't think I've painted since we painted our rent house years ago. And once again, this is just primer. Okay guys, so I ended up running out of primer last night, but me and Steph went to the town this morning and we got four more cans of primer and we got five cans of paint. What what kind of paint was that? Stonehenge. I don't remember what the name of it was. Stonehenge Grage. Stonehenge Grage or something like that. It was a pretty color. Uh, we want to kind of keep it like a tan, tannish color on the wall a little bit, and hopefully that's what it'll give. Um, so like I said, last night I ended up finishing everything in this room, but the ceiling part right here. I ended up running out of uh, primer, but me and Steph's here now, and we're going to go around and get everything started. Um, we'll, we'll probably just play a little bit of music while we're painting. So we'll put we'll put some clippings of it and uh, kind of let y'all see what we're doing just to bring y'all along. We document everything. This is for us as well. So um, hope y'all enjoy. If you're new to the channel, be sure to like and subscribe. And I know we'll take a break and actually go up and uh, check out the fence too. They're supposed to be back working on that too. So you ready? All right. You know what you're doing? Yeah, I figured you'll do the middle part, the filling, because you know. That takes a lot more. And then I'm going to go around the edges. I'll, I'll make a little, little deal there for you. So we will. Because painting is not my forte. It's not mine either, but hey, we might, I might be able to just use this roller again. Oh, is it so wet? Yeah. A little bit. It is so rough, if you've never done this, to live in an RV with four kids and run back and forth, take a shower. This is probably the roughest thing that our family's ever been through. And I hope one day that I can't wait until we can actually sleep in the house because it does get up.
All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and try. I've already put a little bit of this paint on. It's taking it pretty good, so. Uh, we're hoping it lightens up a little bit, but it is a pretty color. It is, but I think it'll lighten up, lighten up some. Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking a lot enough. 